Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I have a quick review for you guys on the Milani Rose Powder Blushes. So these Milani Powder Blushes retail for $10 each and there are currently 4 shades that are a part of their permanent collection. I have 3 of their permanent shades. I decided to not get the Coral Cove because it's just too bright for my liking. But the shades that I have are Romantic Rose, Tea Rose, and Blossom Time Rose. I like how sleek the packaging is and they look great side by side when stacked up on my makeup storage. These blushes are a bit powdery but that's okay because there are 17 grams in each product pan. So these Milani powder blushes have an embossed rose design on top of it. Even if you swatch the powders, the embossed design will not fade away. Also be careful when swatching these blushes because I noticed that they easily create a hard pan when I swatch it with my fingers. The first shade that I got is this Romantic Rose and it is a light mauve pink. It barely shows up on my face but it's pretty buildable. Perhaps I got a bad product but this Romantic Rose blush smells the worst among the three blushes that I have. Tea Rose is the most famous shade of the bunch and it is a soft pink blush.
While the two previous shades are matte, Blossom Time Rose is a coral with a gold sheen. I also find that Blossom Time Rose is the most pigmented and softest among the three shades. But I also find that this is the most powdery among the three shades. All in all, except for the scent of the romantic rose, I like these blushes a lot. I like how I like the packaging, I like the design, and I like how buildable the products are. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!